Hey everyone, I'm Zach Mueller. And I'm Kristen Gerhardt. And welcome back once again to Expose. I saw Mama last night. Was it good? I, I could, saw Hansel I and Gretel. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. Wasn't really I'm was that so disturbed. That scary? I don't like scary movies. I thought you liked scary movies. Welcome to Expose. Learning things about Zach every day. <laughs> Welcome back once again. I'm going to step over here and try and not die. Why would you die? It's dark in this corner. All right, y'all, let's get into the news. But first, and most importantly, I want to point out that I am wearing my Doctor Who shirt and I have my Doctor Who phone cover here. Wayne Houchin made the cover of the February issue of Magic Magazine and said via Twitter that he'll have signed copies available. We're very glad to hear he's doing so well and check out the cover. It's, it's pretty hot. Too, too soon. Paul Wilson recently posted The Perception of Magic, a quick read on his Unreal Work series that you can read on his blog following the link that we provide for you. We mentioned Darren Brown's infamous last week, but now we have his poster. Well, you can see his poster release that says it's not suitable for children under the age of 12, so it's not suitable for Zach. No, I'm kidding, that was mean. But seriously, really weird. Thank you everyone who tweeted to Theory11 all their pictures of Dan White's commercial. We really appreciate it, and you can see them come through now to some music. <laughs> He's like a kitty. I am a kitty. Alright guys, that's all for me this week. A little short on news, but I'll make up for it next week. Maybe I'll wear a silly hat or something. Does that help? I don't know. See you guys next week! Hello everyone! On The Wire this week we have an awesome new trick by Marcus Eddy titled Fresh, in which a breath strip box instantly refills itself, and much more. It looks like this. <laughs> In the past week, we have gotten a ton of very positive reviews on Theory 11's latest download titled Psycho by Spidey, aka Bedros Aklean. Aklean? I don't know. Anyway, if you haven't checked out the effect yet, go ahead and do so in the trick section and check out all those awesome reviews. Thanks to you reviewers. I hope you guys got your elite point. Right now, I want to throw it over to our brand new expose correspondent live right now in San Francisco. Take it away. Thanks, Zach. I'm here at Macworld in San Francisco, which is all of this. Are you dizzy yet? I am. I'm actually helping uh, Greg Rustami, uh, creator of iForce and iTeleConnect and iPredict Pro. Uh, I'm pitching the apps, demoing the apps down here in San Francisco uh, because Greg actually has some Photoshop software uh, to create so much stuff that he is pitching that on the other side of this huge convention hall. So for seven hours a day, three days, I'm going to be pitching uh, these apps that you guys all know and love, like iPredict Plus and the rest. Um, every once in a while, like now, I take br breaks because, you know, I have to use the bathroom. Um, but I'll show you uh, what the booth looks like. Tail side. Make sure it's got a head and a tail side. Now normally what I do is I write this down with pen and paper. But I don't got any pen and paper on me. So I'm going to use these little doodle programs. I'm sure you see you Push with me at the same time. Push. Push. <laughs> yes. Anyway, it's been really fun so far. We're just wrapping up the day of Thursday. Uh, it'll be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for the convention. So if you live in San Francisco, uh, come on down to the convention. There's some really cool stuff here besides Greg's stuff. But Greg's stuff is awesome, too. But anyways, that's about all for me. So Michael, take it away. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Expose. So we released a brand new deck of playing cards a couple of days ago called Love Me. We had the pleasure of collaborating with world-renowned artist Curtis Kulig. Now, if you've never heard of Curtis before, he has a pretty interesting story. He actually grew up in South Dakota, but he moved to LA, and about six years ago, he wrote a simple phrase on the side of a wall, love me. 
And what started out as kind of a graffiti thing quickly exploded into a worldwide phenomenon. I mean, he's been working with companies like Vans and Smashbox. His work can be seen in museums and hotels all over the US, NYC, LA. He has been a very busy guy. But we had the pleasure of collaborating with him over the last couple of months to create this deck of playing cards, Love Me. Ultra chic, dressed to the nines, this thing is the bomb. It's the perfect Valentine's Day gift. It's all around just a really good deck of cards. It's great to perform with because it's kind of a conversational piece, has a universal theme to it, and uh, it's just a really, really cool product. So go check it out. It's in our playing card section. It's available to buy now and buy it soon if you want to get it for Valentine's Day. And uh, that's all I have for you guys this week. I'm going to pass it back over to Zach and Kristen. I'll see you guys later. Once again, we want to thank you all for watching. On behalf of myself, Kristen, Andre, Michael, and the rest of Theory 11 team, we hope you have an awesome weekend. Almost February. Action-packed weekend. We'll Super Bowl weekend. Sunday. Ah, testosterone. I don't watch it. I, I don't watch it. Clearly. See you next Friday.